I will now show you a tool that allows you to spy on your competitors here on TikTok ads. In fact, I've already shown a bit of this tool in previous lessons, but in this lesson, I will present it in a bit more depth. Well, here on the computer screen, I am in the tool we are going to use, which is the TikTok ads ad library. How can I access the TikTok ads ad library? I will leave the link available for you in the resources section so you can explore it or if you prefer to search for it yourself, you can simply search for Creative Center TikTok ads on Google and you will access the Creative Center option. You will be redirected to this page, then hover over Inspiration and click on Top Ads Dashboard where we will access the TikTok ads ad library itself. What exactly is the TikTok ads ad library? It's a tool that allows you to see ads from other advertisers. One very important piece of data you can analyze is the geographical targeting that each type of advertiser is using. Another cool thing you can do here in the ad library is to find inspiration for creating new creative elements to promote your products, services, and much more. So in the TikTok ads ad library, we have a few options. We have this space where you can search for the type of ad you want to find. Then you can search for a specific keyword, hashtag, or even a profile. Just type it in and ads related to your search will appear. However, if you scroll down, you have a few additional settings to further refine your search. One of them is that you can change the region of a specific ad, which allows you to spy on your competitors in other countries and even look for a trend that is working abroad and apply it in your country. To change it, just click on this button and select the country you want to explore ads in. I will select the United States. It's very important that you set it to English. At least at the time of recording this lesson, this tool is not yet translated. So if I try to switch from English to another language, we still don't have many languages available. So I will leave Mexico selected as the country. We also have the industry option where you can select a specific advertising niche you want to see. Another type of filter you can apply to your search is the objective of your campaign, which includes website visits, app installs, conversions like sales, lead generation, and many other options. You can filter by several things. So in the niche option, I won't select anything, but in the objective, I'll choose conversion campaigns. And we'll try a few examples. Since I selected conversion, the ads have been updated and other ads from other people targeting the conversion objective have appeared. Most of them are drop shipping ads promoting products for the purpose of sales. Another filter you can adjust is the in the last 30 days option. If you click on it, you can switch to ads from the past seven days, 30 days, or 180 days. This allows you to see ads that might be inactive as well as active ones. You can also filter by a specific language for your ad. In my case, I won't select any specific language in this filter. As for the ad format, we have two types, Spark ads and non-Spark ads. What's the difference between the two? Spark ads are those where the call to action appears on the screen at the optimal moment in the video. On the other hand, non-Spark ads display the call to action throughout the entire video. So here in the TikTok ads ad library, you can also filter by that. I'll select Spark ads. You also have the likes option where you can filter ads with the highest percentage of likes relative to views. So you can adjust the top one range and you'll see ads with the most likes, like these ads with an extremely high like percentage. So these are some of the filters you can use to refine your ads in the TikTok ads ad library. Now I'll show you a practical example. I'm going to search for a specific keyword. I'll enter the keyword dropshipping and click the search button or press enter. Ads related to the keyword I'm searching for will appear based on the filters I've selected. So I've searched for dropshipping and due to the filters I've applied, only two ads are appearing. If I remove the likes filter, for example, I'll see more advertisers here. If I select the period of the last 180 days, more ads might appear. Or if I choose non-Spark ads, other advertisers could show up. In fact, more ads are appearing now. If I remove the language filter, even more ads might show up. So it all depends on the filters you apply. Additionally, we have a few ads here and a very interesting metric that I've already explained to you, but I'll recap it. It's the CTR click-through rate. The CTR is essentially the click-through rate, meaning the ads you see with, for example, a very low CTR percentage indicate that this ad has a high click-through rate. On the other hand, 
ads with a slightly higher percentage mean that they don't have as high of a click-through rate. That's roughly how this metric works. If you click on view statistics, you'll be redirected to this page where you'll find even more detailed information about a specific ad. For example, in the case of this advertiser, the ad's location targeting includes multiple countries such as Mexico, and they might have filtered by a specific language because the ad is in Spanish. Under Objective, you can identify the campaign's objective, which in this case is configured as conversion. In Landing Page, you have access to the page to which the advertiser directs their ad, meaning the page you are redirected to when you click on the ad. Under Industry, you can discover the niche this ad is targeting. The branding name would be the title of their ad, and the ad caption is its description. In Ad Performance, you'll find metrics related to the ad itself, mainly interaction-related metrics such as likes, comments, shares, the CTR rate, as I've already explained how it works, and more. We also have a graph showing the video duration, and if you select CTR, it will show at which point in the video the clicks occurred. In other words, if we switch to conversion rate, we can identify at what point in the video viewers had the highest conversion rate. This way, you can get an idea of how to create effective content and understand what actually motivates a person to convert based on these metrics in the ad library. That's how the ad library works. Simply put, it's a tool that allows you to spy on other advertisers, analyze the countries they target in their campaigns, see the engagement performance of their ads, which countries and states are targeted in an ad, and many other data points.